If he talk a little job, he's going down in five. Inspirational and entertaining, Muhammad Ali influenced pop culture through his unique way of communicating with the world. Welcome to WatchMojo.com, and today we're counting down our picks for the top 10 Muhammad Ali quotes. For this list, we're focusing on the most classic lines spoken by this famous boxer and American icon. They speak English, French, and African. We can't even speak English good. Number 10. Service to others is the rent you pay for your room here on Earth. You can hear the band beginning to strike up in the background as Ali moves to the ring. This is what Muhammad Ali lives for. This is the man's life. With this Muhammad Ali quote, the legendary athlete reminds us of a basic truth we often take for granted. Life is a gift. It's a quote that can jumpstart any day. And regardless of one's personal wealth, the basic sentiment rings true. Back in Ali's time, there were consequences for speaking out against traditional norms. But one could always improve his or her life by maintaining a positive attitude and showing support for others. Because of that, this quote is timeless. Number 9. If you even dream of beating me, you better wake up and apologize. Over his 61 career fights, Muhammad Ali would usually embarrass his opponents with technique and verbal jabs even when he lost. So this quote makes perfect sense given the champ's 56 career victories, 37 of which came by knockout. But if you're at all familiar with Ali's hilarious bravado, then you just may smile when you hear this classic quote. Just take your yeah, time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Are we on there? Yeah, can you hear me now? <laughs> oh, yeah. I was just tipped so long over there. I was, how you doing? After all, he was the greatest during his prime, and his opponents recognized how easily he could talk the talk and walk the walk. I'm young, I'm handsome, I'm fast, I'm pretty, and can't possibly be beat. Number eight. It isn't the mountains ahead to climb that wear you out. It's the pebble in your shoe. Back up, sucker. Back up. Come get me, sucker. I'm dancing. I'm dancing. Throughout his career, Muhammad Ali would offer up some telling words about overcoming adversity. He was more than just a respected boxer. He was a seasoned champ that had been through it all, both inside and outside the ring. You told him I don't have nothing but a prayer. Well, chump, all I need is a prayer, because if that prayer reached the right man, not only will George Fulman fall, but mountains will fall. Even so, Ali still managed to retain his elite status. And his practical way of thinking reminds us of the little things we tend to overlook in our journey through life. We can see the big obstacle in front of us, but it's crucial to identify the small ones that come along the way. Given Ali's training regimen and life experiences, it's safe to say he knew what he was talking about. Play is pointing toward those of us down in press row, and if I told you so, I tried to tell you, and you wouldn't listen. Now do you believe it? Now do you believe it? Number seven, impossible is potential. Impossible is temporary. Impossible is nothing. You see it close your mouth and just keep it closed. Well, you know that's impossible. No, 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 keep it closed. You know that's impossible. I'm the greatest. With experience comes a greater understanding of yourself and your personal goals. And for someone as experienced and motivated as Muhammad Ali, the word impossible was just that, a word. That it's okay to believe impossible is nothing. So this quote promotes a progressive outlook towards life one that can't be minimized by cheap talk and a fatalist attitude. By using the words potential and temporary, Ali captures not only the spirit of his profession and his rise to glory, but also the day-to-day -day grind that may feel overwhelming or impossible to overcome. Even when Ali seemed to be the underdog, which didn't happen often, you could never count him out. Muhammad Ali has done the impossible. Number six, I should be a postage stamp. That's the only way I'll ever get licked. One of the biggest misconceptions about boxing is that it's all about violence and knockouts. But Muhammad Ali would change perceptions of the sport for 60s and 70s pop culture as he tried to minimize his lickings to keep his career ticking. This quote is more than just talk, as Ali was infamous for his rope-a-dope technique which worked wonders for him in the latter part of his career. 
In his early years, though, Ali's speed and agility kept opponents at bay, and he was never, ever knocked out during his professional career. I figured I'm just going to walk in and win this fight maybe one, two, three rounds, knock him out. The most confident I'd ever been in a boxing match. Number 5. I am the greatest. I said that even before I knew I was. I told you all that I was the greatest of all time when I beat Sunday Liston. I told you today, I'm still the greatest of all time. Everybody deals with personal insecurities at some point in life. With this quote, Muhammad Ali shows us that validation comes from within. I am the greatest. I'm a bad man. I should not be wrong. He would often boast about being the greatest, and considering the fruits of his labor, he made it easy for people to believe him. I'm the greatest, and I'm knocking out all bones. And if you get too small, I'll knock you out. He understood the essence of the sweet science, and his exceptional self-motivation helped him flourish during those moments of adversity. Moments that could seem overwhelming to those lacking self-confidence, but not Ali. He believed in himself first and foremost, allowing the world to believe in his talent. I am the greatest. Number four. I have wrestled with an alligator. I done tussled with a whale. I done handcuffed lightning, throw thunder in jail. That's bad. Only last week, I murdered a rock, injured a stone, hospitalized a brick. I'm so mean, I make medicine sick. With his smooth lyrical cadence, Muhammad Ali took a metaphorical approach while discussing his lifelong battles. It went down before his legendary Rumble in the Jungle bout versus George Foreman, and the collective poem speaks volumes about Ali's media appeal during his prime. In other words, some fighters perform, while others perform with a purpose. And these words capture the inner spirit Ali conveyed so beautifully and eloquently. You are telling me that Joe Lewis would have knocked me out. How would Joe Lewis knock me out when this is Joe Lewis? Although the full quote is directly connected to a legendary pop culture event, each passage remains relevant decades later. Fast! Last night I cut the light off my bedroom, hit the switch, was in the bed before the room was dark. Incredible. Fast! Incredible. Number three. It's hard to be humble when you're as great as I am. I accept these college invitations to come out to meet uh, many of you. I realize that in these country towns like this, you never get a chance to see the world. <laughs> World Champs. Muhammad Ali understood the performance aspect of his profession. Though he enjoyed himself in the ring, he also undoubtedly had fun while speaking with the media. Well, you must have got hurt in the ring. Yeah. Well, I mean, I saw you jo fight Joe Frazier. I didn't get hurt. You didn't? No. You did a very good actor. Yeah, no. <laughs> Are you calling me a liar? No, no. But this quote carries a higher truth, as Ali proved himself to actually be the greatest at least in terms of boxing's role in pop culture. Say, Jim, you think I could have a float like a butterfly? Damn, well, sting like a bee. He balanced the line between arrogance and entertaining, leaving the public to look beyond his bravado and recognize the true brilliance of both his words and ability to back them up. Even if the world didn't always understand Ali, Ali always understood who he wanted to be. It's hard to be humble when you're as good as I am. Number two. Don't count the days. Make the days count. I'd like to know what you're going to do when you retire from boxing. <laughs> well beyond his last professional fight, Muhammad Ali remained an inspirational and highly relevant figure across the globe. But long before his 2016 death, this brief yet poignant quote zeroed in on a fundamental truth. Tomorrow is never promised. It's one of those quotes that can easily be taken for granted or said during difficult times, but it strips life down to the core, reminding you of the sacrifices Ali made in his personal and professional life. With that in mind, this quote undoubtedly takes on a greater meaning. Please welcome the greatest of all time, Muhammad Ali. Before we unveil our number one pick, here are some honorable mentions. Number one. I look like a butterfly, sting like a bee. Ah! At only 18 years of age, Cassius Clay won a gold medal at the 1960 Summer Olympics. 
Four years later, he became the heavyweight champ of the world. Ten years later, the man now known as Muhammad Ali gave us this epic quote before he fought George Foreman, a quote that defined the skill set that separated him from his peers. Oh, like a butterfly, stay like a bee. Hey, On paper, it's poetic. And when spoken by Muhammad Ali, it's a phrase that combines his poetry in motion with his technique in the ring. Perhaps most importantly, it's a quote that references the natural aggression of boxing, yet also reminds us of the artistry exemplified by Ali through his life and career. The hands can't hit, but the eyes can't see. Like a butterfly, sting like a bee. Ronald was a young man, Ronald. Do you agree with our list? What's your favorite Muhammad Ali quote? You, George Fullman, all of you chumps are going to bow when I whoop him. All of you. I know you got him. I know you got him picked. For more inspirational top tens published every day, be sure to subscribe to WatchMojo.com. Eat natural foods because we must whoop Mr. Tooth Decay. I got one right here, one right here.